I will tell you a secret Ukrainian recipe. Oh, yes! Let's do this, guys. That smells fantastic. Mm. Hello guys, it's Lucky Mike here and it's a winter special cooking episode. So not many of you know that we have a professional chef in America and believe me, he's a real prodigy. So he gave me these cool clothes and he told me that if I, if I make it any dirty, he will kill me and he's not joking at all. And yeah, it's pretty cold outside, so I will also leave all my warm clothes on me and I'll probably look pretty funny. Once I posted an image on my Instagram account and so many subscribers liked it, so it seems like you guys are keen on cooking and we decided why not give it a try. And my dish will be really ambitious. I will tell you a secret Ukrainian recipe. That's actually our local version of barbecue. And believe me, if you try it once, you will never go back to playing boring barbecue. So that's called shashlik. That sounds weird, but that's how it's called in here. And I will also try playing some slots while I'll be cooking. I don't know how yet, but I will try. One second of your attention before we continue cooking. Remember I promised a lot more sweepstakes? Well, here is one and you can get some cool merch from Merka. I'm talking about the Merka blanket and the Merka towel and the rules are elementary as usual. All you need to do is, first, be subscribed to Merka Games YouTube channel, second, in comments tell me what is your favorite dish and don't forget to add hashtag LuckyMikeLottery to your comments before posting it. And very soon I will choose two lucky winners live. First of all, I have to prepare everything and marinate the meat. What I need is two pounds of pork neck that should not be dry, try to find a little bit fat one. White and red onions, eggplant, pomegranate, red wine, some salt, red pepper and cumin. First of all, we have to cut the meat into four, three to four centimeter cubes, just like that. Yeah, so that's the perfect size for shashlik. Now let's cut the onions into small pieces on the other side, so it's probably not the best cutting skills you've ever seen. What's really important is that you have to smash it, so that will give a lot more juice, which will soften the meat and make it even more tasty. I almost forget to tell you about the cilantro. Some people like it, others don't, but I do love it. Now it's time for the spices. I love red pepper flakes, so I add a little bit of them. I do love cumin, it makes it like incredibly tasty. And you have to smash it with your fingers, because that will add a lot more flavor. It's all about the flavor, so it's like two spoons of cumin. But for me that's really important in shashlik. And I don't know, like <clears throat> just how it tastes, but... I think that's enough salt. Okay, now we have to add the final ingredients. A smashed pomegranate. Let's just do it like that. Oh, that's juicy. And a little bit of wine. Dry red wine. I think that's enough. So. For the Merka players, cheers! Now we have to mix it all together. Just look at that beauty, that's incredible! Believe me, it'll be very tasty. Every bite as tasty as it looks. Now we have to let it rest for at least 12 hours. So the fireplace is ready and yeah, most of the times we don't use pre-made coal, instead of that I use wood from peach and cherry because that provides a lot more flavor. And now I need to wait until it becomes coal and gets a little bit tired. 
that's when I start grilling and for grilling reasons we don't use grill, we use skewers, so I'll show you that very soon. And right now I think I can play some slots finally. Even though it's February outside, it's actually 4th of February I'll be playing the Happy July slot because in here there is a small chef just like me and he's wearing the same hat. <laughs> so it's 90. Oh my, that's 90 million per spin. Oh, that's too much. 60 million. I have like three to five minutes while I'm waiting for the fireplace. And yeah. <laughs> what I really want is to trigger the free spins because I know that the sets of sets of free spins can be just absolutely insane in this slot. For the subscribers, for the YouTube channel, I want to play at least one set of free spins. Oh, so many wilds! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, yes! <laughs> That's good! Look at that! 700 million! 700 million! And I've been playing on 60 million total bad. Thank you, Infinity Slots! Oh, please! One more chance! Lost! Lost it! Oh! Finally! Free yes! Spins. Free spins! Now we need to get fireworks. Please, some fireworks! Yes! Yes! That's it! And another win. Last free spin. How about some fireworks? So that's 200 million. Not the best set of free spins, but at least I got it. Even Lucky Mike can't be lucky all the time. And now I have to prepare meat for grilling. So let's go back to the kitchen, guys. Instead of traditional grill, we will use skewers. And yeah, some eggplant just to make it a little bit more beautiful. So we just take a skewer, we put on the meat, then an eggplant, and another piece of meat, and I have to do it with all of the pieces in here. I don't know about the US, but in Ukraine every man thinks that he knows how to make the best shashlik ever and has his own recipe. And that's like the most irritating thing that when you start cooking there are so many people telling you how to make it so much better by their recipe and you're like, leave me alone, I just want to do my thing. Oh, that's looking fantastic and believe me, that will be so tasty. There is one hint, you can put the bigger pieces to the middle. The coal is already a bit tired and it's a perfect time to cook our shashlik. Let's do this, guys! Oh my, that smells fantastic and I believe that it is very tasty. Every bite is tasty as it looks like, so the only thing left is to get some ketchup and to try it. I've been waiting for this moment for the whole day. That smells delicious. I want to try it. Don't hate me guys, try to cook it in the United States and in comments you can always tell me how it was. And now it's time to try it. Probably that was not sexy, but it is so tasty. 
So now when you know how to cook shashlik, I want you to make it in US and tell me in comments how was that. And seems like it's time for me to leave you guys. It was Lucky Mike. Goodbye.